Alright everyone, this is Yaki again. Um, this is one of my new kind of series of videos, you know, uh, trench knives, because this is the first trench knife I've ever made. Um, I've done one after this one, I'm showing it probably very soon. Um, yeah, so let's start. This is a copy of M17, uh, US M17 trench knife. It's a, uh, it's a Americans, American trench knife that was used in First World War and Second. It was, um, it was made from different manufacturers like LCN, like uh, what else, LFNC, yeah, and many others. Um, so let me start by talking about this one, how I made it, and stuff like that. Um, the blade is triangular, as you can see here. Um, it's made from triangular file, old file, which was broken. So I just grind it down, you know, you see, so it's really smooth over here. Um, the handle is wooden, I used walnut. Um, later, I, after I polished it with very smooth sandpaper and everything, I just oil it with a... Um, um, machinery oil because so it gets dark and you see and uh, slightly it gets slightly protection from from any water or something it may fell on I mean some liquid or anything like that um, the guard over here is made from um, some kind of iron which is bent just bend it cut it so it has uh, really smooth edges, no sharp ones. Spikes are welded on. Um, I, I couldn't I couldn't stamp them out as they were doing during Second World War as you can see here. It's really smooth all over it. Uh, so I just I just brushed them into four sided pyramids. It's six of them, two, two and two, six. Um, the nut is made also from nut is also made from iron, some kind of iron. It has two small holes in it, so you can tighten it with spanner, which I made um, just a second. Maybe it is. Uh. Yeah, here it is. Just guy, I just welded two small screws on it, so I just can tighten it. You see, it's like this. Put it in, and then screw it off or on. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I stamped here US um, LFNC 1917 as were in original. Uh, I just tried to make as best copy as possible. You see. Uh, now the dimensions. Just a second. The whole handle is 150 millimeters long and 35 millimeters high, um, and 12, 20 millimeters thick. Um, by the way, all measurements are original from original trench knife, which gave me a friend. Uh, he owns it. Um, the guard is made from four and a half millimeter thick iron, which is bent. Sure. Uh, the nut is diameter of nut is twenty millimeters. And spikes are 12 millimeters square. Um, the blade side measures 12 millimeters also, but the length is very longer. It's I think it's 19 centimeters. 190 millimeters. Um, uh, what else? What else to say? Oh yeah, the guard and the nut are sanded finish you can see really from there um, the blade is um, polished very smooth you know the guard is 
it's very 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 slightly rough you know that but that's the whole point of sanding you know uh, it's gun blued yeah it's the first part of my weapon collection that is gun blued um, but also I will have I have more and there will be more and everything it's very sharp at the end um, yeah that's that's more than about it I think uh, any questions anything like that just let me know I'll answer anything um, so that's about it see you later oh uh, yeah and I also forgot to mention that I'm very soon doing a probably very soon doing a also M1917 trench knife which has spikes from the side you know it, is, it has four five, five spikes from each side up you know I don't know exactly well I do have some techniques how I'm gonna do it but I'm not quite sure you know um, I'm I've got the blade already I've got everything else I'm just still thinking and trying to find some time and probably I'm gonna make it during the summer okay um, the second thing is the scabbard. Um, I'm right now in a half an hour. I'm going to go to get a leather, you know, for the um, for the scabbard for the sheet for this knife. You know, it's not actually she is scabbard, but anyway. Um, the else plans I've already have um, just this. Um, these two things. So I'm going to make another one this and a scabbard very soon, probably very soon. Okay. Uh, that's about it. See ya.